Welcome back friends. Now, I would be taking you towards the bifurcation as we discussed in terms of sales promotion. So, one is consumer oriented promotion, the other is trade oriented promotion. So, let us see you know first what is consumer oriented promotion. Consumer promotions are tactics or techniques, I should call techniques designed to help a business find new customers or reward current customers. We have talked about that when we were referring to the objectives of sales promotions. But now, let us focus on consumer side basically. And you see, this is related to enticing a consumer to take the final step and make the purchase which constitutes a primary goal for consumer promotions program. You, you see, many a times consumer is going through a decision making process. Remember those videos which we talked, wherein we talked about uh, consumer psychology, consumer perspective, social aspect or let us say consumer behavior perspective associated with integrated marketing communication and wherein we talked about the process of consumer decision making. Now, imagine or, or watch that video once again and try and think of that consumer is passing through different stages of decision making. And during those stages, influence of integrated marketing communication is definitely there, but specifically what sales promotion can do that is where you see you are just casually out in lunch time and you are walking through a particular street wherein you have three four restaurants and suddenly there is a there is an offer related to pizza you are not a pizza fan but then there is an offer and you want you you may end up trying that pizza just because of that offer so you see that is where decision making perspective can come in in a shorter while as well as in a longer term as well. For example, automotives also you use that when they realize that consumer you know go through this kind of a process for purchasing an automotive. So, there they influence consumers or customers with some sales promotion. For example, they may say that 3 years warranty, 5 years service whichever way you know it is a random kind of a thought. So, you see what are the types of consumer promotions, coupons, premiums, contests and sweepstakes, sampling which is very important, bonus packs and price offs. Largely and as I said I have always been saying you may add to this list in due course of time with help of your wisdom and knowledge and observations all around. What are coupons? See coupons are distributed in retail stores offered digitally from the internet or in a store such as you know CVS and may be placed on or you know near the packages themselves. Now, in each instance the consumer is able to use the coupon in the store through an instant redemption coupon program or let us say later redemption as such basically. And there are surprise coupons within the packs also. Many times in festival packing uh, you know in uh, refills or those kind of you find that when you open up that refill there is a specific thing which you get as an incentive or, or uh, probably when you are buying in store you get an announcement that beyond this kind of a particular purchase or beyond you know you spend 2000 rupees or 5000 rupees you would be getting uh, one pack of sugar or one pack of ghee and one pack of this and so on and then that kind of an incentive and uh, you know that is related to the objectives of diluting the inventory as well and many a times uh, some other objective. Now, the coupons often lead to trial purchases and purchases of additional packages of a product. Now, that is very interesting. You end up spending 2000 rupees on the product of your choices and you get a coupon and immediately you have to redeem, the, redeem that coupon. So, you go there and you, you, you know put it in front of the teller and she puts up a particular kind of a pack of ghee in front of you. Now, you are not that ghee fan you do not want uh, you, you would not be usually purchasing that ghee for yourself, but one kilo pack you bring it back home obviously, you will start using that. So, that would be a compulsive trial option also some incentive also and redemption of coupon perspective is there always. So, you see that is solving several and, and it is diluting inventory of that store as well. So, you see that is actually solving so many purposes at one go it is scientific it is mathematical, it is 
lots of calculation goes there and I have been repeatedly talking about the relational elements and we have talked about how this kind of a promotion is related to advertisements as a mode of integrated marketing communication wherein you might get to learn about coupons and schemes through newspaper advertisements and you might get attracted towards this kind of a purchase at large through that advertisement ending up in that store going through the coupon going through the, uh, the to this compulsive trial of that particular product and you might end up using that product repeatedly you see that is how advertising sales promotion inventory dilution uh, you know and, and uh, trial and then repeat purchase of that particular product which was given to you as free comes in all together and that is what this small th uh, thing can do instant redemption coupons what are they there are many a times you will find them attached to the outside of a consumer package product and you can peel them off or pull them off and you can use them for discount purposes or whatever the offer is and you see these on pack coupons are removable for immediate use or let us say at the checkout counter as we have been talking of or you can redeem those uh, you know in a short while or, or let us say you can you, you can you can call someone and you can say that you know I am ending up my shopping you can end, uh, enter into the store and uh, you can purchase this additionally or you can club in your purchase and uh, you know although it is not very fair but if you know each other you know two people can club in their purchase go for one billing increase the billing uh, level and get your coupon redeemed for a particular kind of a purchase. So, bounce back coupons they are you know they, they accompany a delivered product within the product box or with the product statement or invoice we have talked about that and this encourages repeat purchase as well. There can be several kinds of combinations these are just mentions these are just you know specifically observed methodologies and uh, techniques which are uh, used by organizations. Uh, you may find several others which which can tell you that you know these come under coupon categories cross rough coupons for example are obtained at the time of purchase and a carrier brand and may be redeemed at a later stage uh, you know on a target brand basically so so that are related to a, uh, we, we, we discussed that you know that are related to a particular kind of a purchase and then that can uh, enable the uh, you know uh, incentive in terms of other uh, kind of a product which will accompany you later on. So, and then uh, again it is related to placing a coupon on one product for another product and this encourages consumers to purchase within the same brand or family of the products of course. As I said you are not using a particular kind of a haldi but then you end up getting that haldi and using that particular haldi or sugar for that matter you are not fan of a particular kind of a sugar but this and then you are fan or, or you are you are a consumer for another product of the same company you end up purchasing that and so on. And then you see uh, multi product companies they utilize it often for as far as you know promoting integrated products for the same consumer. Scanner delivered coupons you know and several retailers they issue coupons at the cash register we, we just uh, precisely you know had a glimpse of that an item being scanned at a cash register triggers a scanner delivered coupon and this encourages brand switching and so on just at the time when you are moving out. There are several disadvantages of coupons I would not enumerate so many but just a brief passing element that some marketers believe that offering price discounts through coupons to those who are willing to pay full price does not make sense. There is another feeling in terms of discounts whether coupon discounts or other discounts that when there is a seasonal upsurge when there is a bigger sales prospect then why to give discounts. Some you see uh, some marketers do specifically believe when uh, the sales reduces then only you should go for discount. Some marketers believe that during the upsurge in the seasonal sales to counter the competition you must give discounts. Some marketers believe that as we discussed in the objectives that to attract switchers you offer discounts 
and some marketers believe that during this the seasonal upsurge your loyal customer is vulnerable to purchase other customers that is why you offer discounts so you see there is a there is an element of philosophy against the coupons against the discounts and pro coupons and pro discounts as well so you can go further into this uh, slide and and now i am switching over to premiums you see premiums are prizes gifts or other special offers consumers receive when purchasing products slightly associated with uh, you know what coupons offer to you but it is in the form of direct kind of you know gifts basically so the consumers you, here you don't have to redeem those they are being offered to you so the consumer pays full price for the original good or service with a premium and receives something free so uh, for example this pack of biscuit is along with this product this pack of uh, soap is uh, free along with this product and so on it it is it is there you know take it sort of you might feel happy about it and many a times you might not so this is how it it goes and, and remember that paper we discussed how hedonic and utilitarian perspective you know uh, goes along with the kinds of uh, offers you would make in terms of sales promotions so buy one get the second half at uh, half price the whole logic is that if you somehow put it under a bra uh, price bracket customer might end up purchasing more there is a manufacturer whom i have observed that they they uh, you know very intelligently put up a psychological you know bracket in front of you for example they would say that for two shirts you might not get any discounts for three shirts you might you might get one shirt free and for five shirts you might get five shirts free now that is a very typical kind of a calculation in front of uh, a person who is actually thinking in terms of purchasing two shirts only and as soon as he purchases two shirts and he feels third would fetch me one more you see we are greedy by nature are we so and as soon as you purchase the third you realize that oh my god if i purchase five then five free now that is a very important element which comes to your mind and you end up purchasing five shirts you see that is an intelligent kind of a premium which which you know uh, you know uh, is offered to you in terms of your purchase or enhancing your purchase and that is what sales promotion on shop sales promotion is earlier it was uh, associated with handkerchiefs or those kind of things now it is associated with apparels suits shirts whichever whichever product you find you know and and sometimes you feel that how are they actually recovering the all the cost associated with this kind of a thing but remember that not everyone gets greedy after a particular kind of a stage you know people are intelligent they say no i will go 2 to 3 but not 2 to 5 that is how people think actually and you might not find uh, those attractive colors on the floor as well types of premiums free in the mall premiums in or on package premiums self liquidating premiums store or manufacturer premiums and several other kinds of premiums and one of those i mentioned in terms of shirt manufacturer and and there are some retailer uh, premiums as well i remember my uh, local retailer um, the grocery shop he used to offer premiums from his own side basically you know when when i used to go for purchasing things from uh, his shop he used to say ke sir because you are a loyal customer and you are purchasing so many things so so you know these are two gifts pack uh, gift packs from my side i don't know you know uh, if companies were offering that to him or not but he was ma managing his inventory uh, system by offering the products to his loyal customers wherein he wanted those products to get diluted and so on now free in the mail premiums are gifts individuals receive for purchasing products and to receive the gifts the customer mails in a proof of purchase to the manufacturer who then sends the gift to the buyers now that is largely associated with generating a connect with the customer and generating the database of the customer deriving the address of the customer deriving the demography of the customer and so on you see whenever you communicate with the manufacturer you get in the sight of the manufacturer 
your details they get associated with the manufacturer that is a very big incentive against a small premium which he is offering to you because now you are on his radar and if you are purchasing something else from someone else he knows that this customer is a switcher or a loyal customer or a satisfied customer or what kind of a response this customer is giving to you basically as in terms of being a you know so so that is how you know that that uh, database is very valuable for and and these premiums are also uh, a method of generating that kind of a database in terms of uh, people who want to go for enhanced targets and whatsoever so now in or on package premiums a uh, very common kind of uh, thing basically and and uh, and in, in seasons especially you will find something written all, almost every pack and these packs they feel very you know they look very attractive when you move into uh, the stores and razors and blades there there is a very big combination of such kind of uh, you know free gifts and so on and then store or manufacturer premiums these are related to uh, gifts given by either the retail store or manufacturer when customer purchases a product i talked about my local vendor in this example where in ultra beauty offered consumers a 14 piece cosmetic gift so so the goal of the premium offer was to attract new customers and to encourage trial purchases of various products self liquidating premiums they require the consumers to pay a small amount of money for the gift or item now again that is associated with actually recovering some of the cost of that particular product it it is logical many a times but customer feels that they are getting an additional product at a huge discount so that is how customer starts thinking and uh, you see self liquidating promotion technique generates enough sales revenue to pay for the cost of complete promotion campaign so that is again offsetting the cost and the objective of this premium offers is to attract more customers who want to procure a product at less price and increased sales and this increases sales so contests normally require the participants to perform an activity to get in, engaged and definitely you would pass on your details to the uh, manufacturer and, uh, and the organization and so on you see uh, what we are reaching to when we are talking about these kind of premiums it is not just that the manufacturer or the organizations or the products they want to increase their sales it is not just that they want to capitalize upon switchers and they want to enhance the loyalty of the customers towards them it is not just that they want to cater to the competition it is that it is also that they want to remain in a continued connect with the customer to to enhance their database to think about different kinds of customers with different kinds of propositions while categorizing that data which they get so so it's it's an all around exercise and i mentioned about how it is connected to you know value chain system advertising and i'll be mentioning about how sales promotions are related to personal selling or direct marketing and so on so so there are other elements which are associated with sales promotions as such also sweepstakes is a chance promotion where a winner is randomly selected from all eligible entries as i said it is not uh, one of the most preferred kind of uh, you know promotions uh, when we were discussing about that paper from journal of marketing so uh, but people are attracted towards sweepstakes because people do want to think in terms of that they are lucky so so that is how it works actually and, and uh, definitely it is a major kind of a promotion being practiced by marketers i do not have exact data uh, on how it is working uh, for them you may fetch it from statista and other sources to analyze the relevance and the strength although as far as preference goes hedonic or utilitarian it is on the lower side as we discussed so sweepstakes entries do not require a required activity and consumers enter as many times as they wish although companies can restrict customers to one entry per visit to the store or location contest and sweepstakes can be used to build a database list information from entry forms can be stored and used for future promotions as in the case of other 
methodologies as well. Sampling, this is one of the most important actually. This is where you consider production at the first stage with respect to samples you would generate along with the main production uh, you want to have in terms of the final products. Because many a times you are changing the orientation of the product, many a times you are introducing the product, many a times you actually want customers to try almost a couple of times before start you know before uh, getting deeply associated with the product. So, so and many a times you want customer to as I said in the case of ice cream for example, customer knows the taste of a particular kind of an ice cream, but sampling every time or, or you know uh, putting up a taste in front of customer every time enables the customer to compare those two offers uh, options on the spot. At the end of the day, you are the winner because customer stays with one of your products and that is where you know importance of sampling comes in. So, it is the actual delivery of a product to consumers for their use or consumption. Dentists and lawyers feature sampling when they provide initial consultation free of charge. It is not very attractive kind of a sampling because uh, I would not suggest anyone to go to dentists or lawyers except for very intense need basically God forbid. So, and goal of the sampling is to put product in the hands of customer and let them feel the quality, weight or texture of the product. Now, bonus packs, when a company places an additional or extra number of items in a special product package, it is a bonus pack. And I tell you, it is my uh, you know feeling and observation in due course of time. This is one of the most loved kind of uh, you know uh, a sales promotion all through because there is no complexity associated with that. There is no redemption analysis uh, has to be done by the customer. There is no brain mapping which has to be done by the customer. There is no calculation uh, to be done by the customer. And in, in premiums also, in, in coupons also, in discounts also, the you know, customer has to go through some calculation analysis that I would end up gaining this much. Here, you are spending a regular amount which you usually do and you are getting a benefit, some percentage of your favorite product which you, you, you often buy and you feel happy about. You see, two biscuits, three biscuits, whatever they write, 25 percent, 25 percent is how much, three or four or you know th th that much. So, three, four biscuits, but that makes you happy and you love it actually. Today, I got this much of free. For example, you, you know, you, you go for purchasing coffee and uh, that particular pack of coffee is slightly taller and you feel happy about it. Today, I have three spoons of coffee kind of so, so, and same happens in case of toothpaste for example. You, you, your mind always says, oh yes, one big toothpaste, kind of, that is, that is it. So, depending upon how many times you paste actually, paste your teeth. So, so that, is, that is the perspective of bonus packs, a very loved kind of methodology and definitely as I said that this is related to inventory, retaining the loyal customers and the provision for this is designed usually well in advance. This happens many a times because of some insight from the on ground sales force retailers and so on. We will be talking about uh, sales force element in terms of personal selling also, direct marketing also and so on, wherein you see that kind of a feedback motivates you to create sample packs. So, and, and that avoids switching of customers from your side because you see they are getting more from their favorite products. So, they do not tend to go away so easily. Price offs, it is a temporary reduction in the price of the product to the consumer as we have seen. It can be taken very positively, it may not be because somehow a customer might feel benefited and somehow it might not be so attractive. You see you just walk into some fast food and, and uh, they say that there is a 25 percent discount. You are unable to analyze that 25 percent discount is, is how much. For example, you see petrol kind of uh, 
when when you uh, there there was a time recently up till recently when you were getting your tanks full or you're purchasing petrol on SBI cards or those kind of cards and you are getting a cash back basically so you see so that that is similar to price off but although uh, that that is also associated with pre being uh, you know uh, offering some premium but that is closely related to premium and price off and so on but but you see when you are getting that cash back many a times you feel that you have uh, purchased uh, petrol worth 1000 rupees and you are getting uh, a minimal amount back it attracts you i don't know how how many times you feel attracted for repeatedly using that card and that happens most of the time in case of you know credit cards and, and those kind of wherein uh, you know uh, uh, products and companies getting associated with this card based purchase they often go for such kind of cash redemptions or or let's say uh, cash reversals or or whichever way you look at it so price offs are attractive but not always yes one thing which is is very special in relation to price offs price offs are many a times very attractive in terms of vegetables and fruits uh, there are several uh, you know researches and papers related to types of products and price offs and types of products and coupons and so on but uh, you see just an observation someone offers you a price off on particular kind of a product you might end up feeling happy or no but in vegetables and fruits you might feel happy all the time just watch it for yourself observe it and write to me if i am wrong or right so now benefits of the price offs are to stimulate sales of existing products and they entice customers to try new products because the lower price reduces the financial risk of making a purchase that is you know especially in case of when price offs are uh, to the good levels or or percentage which uh, which is uh, appreciable by you they encourage customers to switch in brand parity situations or when no strong brand loyalty exists and so on and we have been talking about that so now you see one very important element which we must talk about here is that can you retain customers through relational price discounts and we have been talking about you know price offs premiums coupons different forms of sales promotions so what is the understanding which which we gain in terms of customer retention so firms use discounts to generate temporary sales as well as building long term relationships and some conceptual and empirical studies have also suggested negative effects of initial discounts or customer retention primarily because discounts may make customers more price sensitive other research has found that initial discounts may also encourage repurchase behavior with potentially positive effects on customers habits building and loyalty and many a times customers might feel that product is not up to the mark also many a times customers might feel that somehow quality is not that good i have talked about a television company long back in my one of my examples that was related to price offs basically or let's say huge discounts or reduced prices if you want to look at it that way so you see there are several sides to when we talk of relationship of discounts or for that matter any form of sales promotion with customer retention and that is a major aspect and that is why i want you to recall that we are not studying just the sales promotion we are studying sales promotion as the part of integrated marketing communication wherein it has to play a complementary role in whole of the integrated marketing communication process either it is to support advertising or to gain support from advertising and to materialize the objective so that is what one must remember at this particular moment and you see the results of large scale field studies reveal non linear effects of initial discounts or on customer retention specifically moderate initial discounts 5% to 35% are effective relational discounts they enhance customer retention rates and lifetime revenues 
whereas high and low discounts may undermine the two. I just mentioned that the discounts has uh, you know they, they can project both the sides getting customers and sometimes you know putting up a question in the minds of the customers. Laboratory experiment identifies customers metacognitive processing as the psychological mechanism underlying the non-linear effects of initial discounts on customer retention. So, you see just to summarize that starting from coupons to premiums to price offs and other forms of sales promotions, the most important element which we should learn is how to strategically use these tools and finally not just to focus on switchers because that definitely would gain revenues in a short while. But the ultimate objective for integrated marketing communication is to gain customers for a longer time. So, as I said short term gains are definitely there lots of mathematics and uh, you know uh, uh, behavioral analysis is there lots of methodology and methodical analysis is also there when we think in terms of providing products or extra products to the customers in terms of production and inventory that is also there. Relationship elements with the retailers and the channel partners is also there, but the most important thing which we should keep in mind and keep on analyzing that this form of communication must have an intense relationship with other forms of communication to be used and in, in an to be used in an integrated manner. So, I will leave you with this thought here, I will come back to you later on with further insights on this aspect as well as the next stage of sales promotion in terms of trade promotions. So, goodbye for now, thank you for bearing with me, bye bye.